okay, we love talking about tech here. We love talking about game development. Another uh, dev in our community I was saying, hey, DG, did you check this out? This AI draws anything you describe. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I've seen Cold Fusion's videos before. I happen to like them. Sometimes they're a little slow, so bear with uh, bear with us. It may be a little bit slower paced, but there's going to be a portion of this where you guys are going to be blown away. So get ready for this. This is AI that draws anything that you describe. And if you guys will remember, NVIDIA came out with an AI feature in which <clears throat> you would just draw something simply on an MS Paint styled board. And on on after you had that rendered, it would render it in in a reimagined way like in in a three-dimensional concept that was fantastic and i i know you guys remember that video because we drew a penis and it showed us the cosmos yes we, we <laughs> if, if you missed that particular one you're not you should probably go back and check it out because you're you don't want to miss it you, you don't want to be one of the very few that that missed it it was very funny so this kind of reminds me of that uh but even on another level, like another level of amazing. So let's check it out. And like I said, it might be slower paced, but there's going to be something in here that I think we're all going to just be like, what are we watching? Welcome to another episode of Cold Fusion, where I cover anything in science, technology, business, or history. AI is encroaching on many fields that are traditionally run by humans. So far, it's been mostly technical tasks, recognizing CT scans for doctors, predicting oil deposits for engineers, image recognition tasks, and things of that sort. But art is something different, and it's one of the last fields to be encroached upon. Art takes a unique combination of skill, creativity, and the very human element of aesthetic taste. But what if I told you that for the first time, it looks like the visual arts may have also fallen to AI? You all may have heard of the Artificial Intelligence Research Group, OpenAI. Yes. In April of 2022, they released something special. It's a very powerful text-to-image generator that can draw virtually anything you want. What? This has been done before, but the real difference here is that the results will almost always be artistically pleasing by design, with correct colors and features that look like the creative judgments of a real artist. In this What's episode, up, Anarchy Disney, we'll see exactly what it can do, how it works, man, and, welcome to and the what stream. it means for the world. This is going to be an interesting one. Let's get into it. Like, I think we should try this as well and really just describe something over the top crazy. I mean, you know, let's let's behave as much as possible. But I think we should just like <laughs> we should really see how crazy this works. <laughs> so what is it? The a new AI fountain. system we is should, called Dali 2 draw and is fountain. capable of turning any text description into a unique image or work of art that has never been seen before. We get a lot of our the merch ideas from is this. based on the GPT-3 text generation system, which we've talked about before. Dali 2 is an updated version of Dali, which we covered last year. The original Dali was limited. It could only render images from text prompts in a cartoonish manner. Right. In contrast, the new Dali 2 system generates high-quality, high-resolution images, right pass? complete with Crazy. complex backgrounds, depth of field effects, realistic shadows, shading, and reflections. The resolution is also higher. It also does its job much quicker, only taking about 10 seconds to generate images. Whoa. It also includes new capabilities, Whoa. like editing an existing image. Not necessarily a cute cat, though. I mean, let's, let's you know, point for, for the human, point for the human race. That is not a cute cat. That is that is like an angry cat. This cat can't be bothered with you. I, I point for the human race because AI still can't get it right. <laughs> it's not a cute cat, AI. That is not a cute cat. So enough chatting. Let's see what it can do. Here we have the Instagram artist, Karen Chang, putting it through its paces. Okay. okay. Shirt walking up a staircase. Ten seconds, and then it'll generate an image that's brand new. Get out of here! Get out of here! Ooh. That's creepy. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. Um, let me try. Oh, a girl walking up an infinity staircase. Wow. Whoa! Oh, 
my god. How does it? These are beautiful. Uh, what can the finish staircase made of cookies in the clouds? Mind you, this is drawing. The, these are drawing the assets. It's not like taking pictures from the internet, by the way, just so you guys know. Oh my god! Look at this cookie staircase! Yo, this is like the stuff of dreams, yo. It's crazy, man. Holodeck Star Trek stuff right there. Holodeck Star Trek so far, stuff. some of you might be thinking, so what? It's just smashing random images together. But as we'll see, it's nothing like that. Nope. When you think about what's going on here in a fundamental level, it's yep. simply astounding. Yep. Let's study a few examples to see what I mean. Look at this example of a dolphin in a spacesuit. <laughs> how did Dali 2 know that that's how a spacesuit on a dolphin would look like? Right. Why did it choose that pose? Yes. Why is the lighting coming from that particular direction? Why does the planet have those particular colors? If you really think about it, these are generally the kind of decisions that an artist would make. <laughs> in this next example, the prompt was to make a Napoleon cat holding cheese. Again, why did the system choose this particular pose? How did it know that these colors would work well in the I gotta tell more stories, right? right look closely at I the details in the crease too. of the suit and pants. Oh, look at the It Napoleon all looks cat. like it was thoughtfully composed. Wow. I like In Napoleon fact, cat. if you were the manager at a cheese company, you would pay an artist a good amount of money to come up with a concept like this for a poster. In the future, this could be no more. A user could just type in a sentence and there you go, an instantly engaging advertisement. The OpenAI team wrote about this concept and called it filling in the blanks. Quote, Unlike a 3D rendering engine whose inputs must be specified unambiguously and in complete detail, Dali is often able to fill in the blanks when the caption implies that the image must contain a certain detail that is not explicitly stated. End quote. This is significant because uncertainty isn't something that computers are traditionally good at. Take right, a look at the tech, rendering that's of this front garden. Like it looks almost as good as a photo. Let's take a look at some more examples. What is going on that it can put these things together like this, man? It is absolutely insane. A proud raccoon artist standing next to its work. Like, like, wow. Wow. What? A baby Fennec sneezing onto a strawberry. Detailed macro studio light droplets backlit ears. What? You can even talk about the direction of the lighting, the angle of the lighting, and what you want in terms of fidelity on what it is you're asking it for it to render. That's ridiculous, man. That's on another level. We're going to find out, Sketch. There you go. That's a Fennec. Oh, it's sick. See, you're thinking like me, Tech. <laughs> That's why we get along so well, Tech. <laughs> Unicorn fossil. Oh, oh, A 1960s yearbook photo with animals dressed as humans. Wow. Wow. It's black and white, dude. A 1960s yearbook with animal faces, man. What? I mean, the fact that it even had a unicorn fossil in there at all sketch is ridiculous, even though it wasn't that wonderfully rendered. That's, like, still crazy, no? This is definitely, like, this should be, this should have been my album cover back when I played metal in the in the old days, in the 90s. This would have been a wonderful album cover. I would have used that for an album cover, for real. <laughs> Yeah, I put all these so so that you guys know these land on the YouTube page. And I know Cryo's new here, but for other people that don't understand, all everything we're watching is from what you guys request to watch on the stream in the morning show. Then I take these highlights and I push them out to our YouTube channel at DG360. And then I will put the accreditations. I will put those links. So when you see this on YouTube, Cryo, you will see the link below it and it will show you that where the original video is. 
And uh, yeah, so that's how it works, guys. Uh, all the content that we're watching right now comes from your your own interests. And uh, then, boom, you know, we go ahead and and put the links down below in the descriptions. <laughs> Gollum writes his autobiography. What? <laughs> Anarchy. You looking for my my channel? I think he's looking for my channel. Here you go, Cryo. Actually, Cryo, go down and look at my about section, and I have a link to my YouTube down there. If you're watching on Twitch. Uh, my links aren't working for some reason. Sorry, Cryo. I'm gonna have to. There you go. There's the YouTube channel, Cryo. Staring into the heart of the universe. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I dig the music he puts to this. Of course, serious artists may find this <laughs> lacking, but for proto... <laughs> That's good. That's good right there. I like that. ...typing and concept art. This kind of power is immense. And just to see how far this has come, here is Dali 2 compared with the state of the art what AI What language did it have, Boba? Sometimes the other AIs can do it well, but a lot of the time the images seem kind of muddled. Dali 2, in comparison, just seems more well thought out. I think you're probably starting to see how big this is now. <laughs> Boba, that's funny. A lot of artists on Twitter are starting to show some concern. Oh yeah, for real, for real. Yeah. So how yeah. does this work? It just has to be pulling from a data set somewhere and just smashing objects together, right? No, there's no way. Well, no. As you saw, it's you can type random. anything and right. it will create it. It can't There be are no that. specific data sets of raccoons in space or astronauts riding horses. There's no way that it's pulling from data that's predefined. In order to generate these images, the AI has to mimic something akin to creativity and come up with something original. So, how does it do this? Wow. Well, it uses two main technologies built by OpenAI. The first is CLIP, a computer vision system, and the second is GPT-3, the language model that can understand and respond to human text. As we've covered in other episodes, it can have conversations, understand context, and compose and long passages of original help. text. It can that even GPT read 3. and summarize information for you. Since we've already covered GPT-3 at length, let's take a look at the first component. CLIP stands for Contrastive Language Image Pre-Training. The main idea behind CLIP is to pre-train a natural language model and an image classification model simultaneously. It does this by using a lot of labeled images that were extracted from the internet. The CLIP system was able to look at a given image and describe its contents in a way that humans can understand. The OpenAI team essentially reversed that process. Instead of looking at an image and describing its contents, a user would describe the contents and the AI would build it. DALI 2 actually generates the image using a process called diffusion, which has been described by the company as starting with a bag of dots and then filling in a pattern with greater and greater detail. <laughs> Diffusion is the hottest new method of AI generation and can be a whole nother topic for another day. Oh man, I would but love to watch that. But in order to, to save that. time, let's move on to something that I find a lot more interesting. The mimicking of human preference. In order for the image outputs to be pleasing oh, yeah. to humans, Maybe I'll do that next the open AI team unless simply just unless modeled really what humans simple. would find pleasing and integrated it into the training process. They call this automated aesthetic quality evaluations. To do this, they generated 512 artistic captions I want to using say, GPT-3. I want to, I want to say banana Next, fountain. They trained you know? the system I want to, see what a to banana predict fountain looks human like. aesthetic judgment. To do this, they used the AVA dataset, which is a large body of hand-labeled video data. Once trained, the AI will output resulting images that should always look aesthetically pleasing to humans. <laughs> to me, it seems like this extra live, layer right after mimicking this, we'll what do humans it. Let's find do it. pleasing is making I don't know if difference. it's like as simple as getting a link or if I got to download something. So why something? stop there? On this channel, we've already seen AI induce motion in still images before. So why not add another layer that turns these images into short video animations? Yeah, I totally want to do in this fact, right now. When you think about it, the possibilities with a system like this are almost endless. So 
So in saying all of this, oh my Dali God. 2 is far from perfect though. Sometimes it just gets things plain wrong. Give it it's the a instruction, a red cube on top of a blue cube, and it will sometimes mix up the order. Okay, so the comment section must be exploding right now. A lot of people would have this next question on their mind. What about nefarious users? Yeah, we Couldn't want someone users. use the system to make a fake photo of a famous person doing a criminal act or produce generally unsavory material? We want it for porn. Tech and I want it for porn. Well, OpenAI has thought of this and has implemented some built-in safeguards. The model was trained oh, on data man, that, would be that great, had objectionable Oz. material That would be removed. great, dude. So there's a good How chance do I do this? the system would struggle to produce How anything do we do objectionable this together? anyway. Users are banned from uploading or generating images that are quote, not G-rated, and so quote, want to do this on stream with you guys right now. Nudity, obscene gestures, oh, or quote, damn it. events related to major ongoing political events ah, are all banned. Damn it. Additionally, the system damn actively it. prevents users from creating pictures based on specific names. So images ah, of celebrities, you're no fun. public figures, and political leaders <laughs> should be impossible. Open AI research scientist Prafula Dariwal states, quote, Our hope is to keep doing a staged process here, so we can keep evaluating from the feedback we get on how to release this technology safely. Understandably, DALI 2 is an extremely powerful technology. All right. All right. I've seen enough on this. Is there, is there an area where I can actually uh, go to? Oh, I, I need a sign up link. Ah, I'm going to have to do this next week. Okay, guys, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this down. Let me get the link here. And I'll be put on a wait list. Did, how'd you get this on? Anarchy. Anarchy. If you've got this, can you please say banana fountain and just play around with different things that we've said here? You know? And just, like, make up, like, some pictures Oh, it's, if you've done anything like this and you've had access to this in any way, Anarchy, please do this for us. I would like you to say Banana Fountain. I want to see like the picture that comes from Banana Fountain. And if you have the ability to do this, like, yeah, we need we need like different types of test. On, oh, my God, Anarchy, you're you're the best, dude. You're the best. And we'll share it next week. We'll share it next week. Uh, we'll share. It. OK, OK, that's OK, though. I just want to see what comes up. Okay. All right. Great. I want to see. I want to see that. That this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I I know it's gonna be fun. I just feel it. I feel it.